my video keeps cutting off. I, my phone is almost full. It's my storage. So this is kind of the in-between area I was talking about between the beans and the tomatoes. And we have more petunias just kind of all hidden inside there. I'm really liking Oh, there's some more of our fun beans right here. These are a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying these. And then behind me here, these are just some herbs and, and different things. We've got some lavender and rosemary, and basil, uh, another kind of basil, lemon balm, and uh, tarragon, and thyme, and marjoram, and sage. And then our our two different kinds of mint really took off. They're just going to pretty much take over this whole bed. Uh, we had parsley here. This is dying back. Um, this is oregano. This one's doing pretty well, actually. Um, this is cilantro. This is new cilantro that's coming up. And this is cilantro that's going to seed. So I'm just going to let it go to seed. It's really hot. It's hard to keep it this time of year. So I'm just letting it go to seed. And that way it'll just replant for me, hopefully, next year. Um, some chives. And then these are tomatillos. And we had a little incident with the tomatillo. Oh, I just found my first tomato hornworm. I've heard tale of these. I've never seen one in person. There it is. Oh my gosh. Why do I not have chickens so that I can throw this to the chickens like other people do? I need to get rid of that worm. Okay. Yuck. Um, it's kind of cool looking actually, but I don't want to touch it. I'll probably just snip the leaf. <laughs> anyway, these are... Um, tomatillos we had an issue they outgrew their container which was like this one that this one's in and they started to fall over we lost a couple of branches right here and right here um i wasn't sure how they were going to do but they seem to be bouncing back so i'm just gonna let them do their thing this bee seems to be liking them and we'll let him um these are ground cherries super excited about these related to tomatillos and tomatoes um I think these are going to need to be transplanted because they seem like they're getting big for their container. Um, so I think that's something we're going to work on this weekend, transplanting them somewhere else into a bigger area. This is okra. Um, not even sure what I'm going to do with okra, but I got the seeds and decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And I have a bunch of flowers here, so I am hoping that we'll have some okra soon or some flowers. I hear okra flowers are very pretty. Uh, this side is my smaller tomatoes. Um, these are all, uh, cherry tomatoes. They're very small, but everywhere in here, there's just tomatoes. I, I wish I could explain how many tomatoes are on these. Just so many little tiny tomatoes everywhere. And I'm super excited. Um, down here, these are called blue, blue boarberries or blueberries. They're tomatoes but they're going to be blue. As you can see, they're starting to ripen. We should have these in a few days. They seem like they should be pretty ready soon. Um, so those will be the first cherry tomatoes that'll come um, become ripe this year. So I'm excited about those. In front of these tomatoes, I did a ton of basil um, and it is definitely growing and thriving and I keep cutting it and no matter how much I cut, it seems to just get bigger. So that's fun. Then um, over here, I already showed you the cucumbers. This is a band day. This is kale. Um, it has been taken over by some kind of caterpillar that has really just eaten the nonsense out of it. It looks like lace. Um, and I'm letting it. We don't even like kale. I planted it because I got some free seeds with an order. Thought I would try it. It grew really pretty. Thought about eating it, still don't like it. Um, then I noticed that there were caterpillars and I figured, you know what? Let the caterpillars feast on that to keep them away from other things. That's fine. It's coming out anyway. Um, this is where broccoli will grow. So I'll be pulling this out um, in a couple of days since it was, well, obviously terrorized by the pests um, and uh, starting anew with some broccoli here because we actually like broccoli. Um, <laughs> This guy is a sunflower. He hasn't even begun to flower yet. Um, all these other sunflowers that you see that have already started flowering, those are lemon queen. Um, these big ones are called titans, or this one is called a titan. Um, it's going to be much bigger. They get like 12 feet tall, and 
the actual flowers are like 24 inches or up to 24 inches. So I have one there. I have one here behind this guy and one on the other side. So I only planted a few of those. And then um, coming around on this side, this is bell peppers. And that obnoxious noise is my very helpful owl. He's motion censored and solar and his eyes light up and he screeches. And his job is to keep, you know, any kind of pest away like rodents or anything like that. And so far, so good. We haven't had any tomatoes eaten or anything like that. So I think he's doing his job and I'm just going to let him do it. But he goes off all the time. So these little plants back here are peppers. Oh goodness, I just noticed, I don't even know how I'm just noticing this guy. Here's a pepper here. I knew that this plant right here had two or three. Um, I didn't know about that guy. It's, it's funny with everything being green, how it's really hard sometimes to see what's growing in between the leaves. Um, over here is another tomato area. These are all tomatoes, three tomatoes that I purchased instead of um, starting from seed. Um, and they were already further ahead than ours were, so I wanted to get some earlier tomatoes. We've pulled one tomato off of this plant. This is probably, that's a good size one. Um, this is probably the next one. It looks like it's starting to turn a little bit. Um, but these have a lot of tomatoes. I separated them out though because I didn't know if these were organic or what they were, if they were heirloom. I wasn't sure, so I wanted to keep them away from my other tomatoes so that there wasn't a, a lot of possibility of cross-pollination with all of my heirloom tomatoes. All the ones on the other side are heirloom. So just wanted to make sure. And they're growing in organic conditions now, but I don't know for sure if they were. Um, I did get them from a local farm, so my guess is that they probably were, um, rather than getting them from like a box store where they're definitely not. But it, like I said, I wasn't sure. But we're going to get a ton of tomatoes off of these. If you can see all these tomatoes that are just hidden in here. So I'm pretty excited about the bounty on these. Um, and then over here are more peppers. In fact, those tomatoes were an afterthought. And this was all going to be peppers all the way across. So I squished my peppers together and made more room for the tomatoes. But these are all um, bell peppers, different kinds. We have four different kinds of bell peppers growing. Um, over here in these little containers and these, this container, uh, was like a big water silo that was just left here when we moved here. And so we cut it up and decided to repurpose it, which was pretty exciting. Um, well, I don't know if it was exciting, but it was really exciting for me. Um, these are some round yellow, um, what are they called? I think they're called lemon cucumbers. Um, but they're cucumbers, they're round I planted these months after the first ones. They were really taking off. I had to put some trellis up um, around them because they were hanging on the ground. They were really big. And they just started to flower within the last couple of days. So I'm really super happy about that because they're catching up to the other ones. This is potatoes. Uh, trying a straw method where um, you just continue to put straw on top of your... Um, as these green shoots grow up, you continue to add straw you know, and, and build it up and they will supposedly continue to grow potatoes up and it's supposedly easier and cleaner than digging them out of the dirt, but we shall see. This mess over here, <laughs> this is the hay that I'm using in the garden and some buckets that we had out here because we were doing a project and with all the rain, they just got left. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so this needs to be cleaned up, um, but this is just kind of the prep area. I do need to move that out because I have another one of these containers coming in um, that I think I'm going to use probably for those ground cherries I showed you over there. And then, um, where do we leave off? Um, oh, these are squash. Uh, well, all but, the, well, not the sunflower, obviously, and all but this. This guy is a um, cantaloupe. We're really hoping we're going to do something or that it's going to do something. The, uh, out of all the seeds that we planted initially when we planted indoors, this is the only one that made it. And so hopefully we'll get something. It's kind of small, but we'll take it, you know, whatever we can get. These plants here, this is incredibly fun. Uh, last year for Thanksgiving or fall, I purchased a bunch of different, uh, squash 
um, different colors, different sizes, different shapes. It was for decor. I wasn't planning on eating them and I didn't have any clue what they were. I just grabbed them based on what they looked like um, and the colors that I was going for. It is like butterfly craziness over here. Um, so I had them for a couple of months, um, like actually a few months and, and they did great. And I just had them out and then Christmas came and Christmas went and like the new year came and I was like, all right, what do I do with these things? So I decided to cut them up and feed them to the deer because we had just had them for so long. I wasn't sure if they were going to be good inside. I wasn't even sure how to cook them or anything because I wasn't sure what they were. Um, so I cut them all up and I saved the seeds and I decided to go ahead and try to plant them this year to see what came of them. And maybe I would get some more fall decor, you know, for fun, maybe to get something I can eat. Not sure. So I just planted them. And so the result of that is this whole patch right here. Um, and we are getting some fun stuff. These are mini pumpkins. That's an easy one to tell um, because they're already growing and they're already turning color. And I did have mini pumpkins and I did save the seeds from the mini pumpkins. This might be a butternut squash. Um, it might change color as it gets, you know, bigger. And so I think that's what it is. And to be honest, I've never... As much as I've been around food, I don't think I've ever had like a whole butternut squash. Um, you know, I've usually bought it up in chunks and things like that. So I really wasn't sure what I had. But looking back at what I think it was um, and, and trying to remember when I was like, Googling them before, I'm thinking butternut squash is a good option. Um, so if it is, I think it'll be kind of a orangey tan color. Um, and then in here, we have this little guy who's super cool. Um, he's like teardrop shaped in white. Um, maybe some kind of an acorn squash. I, I kind of looked it up and it's possible that he's some kind of like a white acorn squash. Um, that's pretty exciting. And then we have another one of those ones that I said was uh, possibly the butternut squash and it has grown outside of the fence and back in and come in here this way. That's kind of fun. And down here, we have this round guy and he's on a different plant and so I'm wondering if he might be one of the warty pumpkins I had. We'll find out if it's a pumpkin or not. Um, what else do I have going on? On this side, I have something else. I don't know what it is. Here it is. It's a squash of some sort. I guess we'll find out as it gets bigger. Just some kind of miscellaneous squash. Um, this one doesn't seem to be doing much yet. It has lots of blooms but I don't see anything on it yet and stuck in the middle is another tomato this one was from a box store I think it was Lowe's and this is a lemon boy and it was a one that I wanted and I couldn't find any seeds for so when I saw the plant I went ahead and grabbed it and uh, planted it over here with my strange you know mystery <laughs> squash um, again because I didn't want it to um, be in with my other tomatoes and it was a long time uh, after I had planted anyway so it was kind of my only spot I'm not even sure it's really enough room for it but this is where it's going or where it is and then this side this was my lettuce patch which is now starting to bolt it's time to take it out I did cut the centers out I have all of these leaves to harvest I'm going to harvest the, these this week and we'll have a lot of salad and then um, this patch will be open and I'm going to replant either lettuce or I don't know. I, I have a couple of different ideas, either more lettuce or I'll start some cabbage and maybe some um, spinach or something. And then I might do lettuce somewhere else, but this was a good spot. So we'll be replanting that. And behind it are, these are all more pepper plants, but these are hot peppers so chili peppers um looks like we have a few this is a uh, our first baby on our mm, pepperoncini um what else do we have i saw a jalapeno right here here's a baby jalapeno and then here's a nice big weed that we can take out um right here these little buddies down here though can you see those they're actually going to be ready soon those are serranos and then I also have, I don't know if I have any peppers on it yet, but I also have poblanos. I don't think anything's happening yet. We have some flowers. Um, 
on the poblanos so that's happening and then over here i don't know if i have any yet i might not be getting enough sun i might need to pull some of this out but these are cow horn these i'm going to use for red chili flake um, i use a lot of red chili flakes so i thought it'd be fun to make my own um, in front of it here is uh, marigolds and they have gotten huge um, so i may not be getting enough sun back there i might have to pull something out and then behind me is my future strawberry patch. You can see I have two strawberry plants that are actually growing. I grew those from seed. And then I bought some bare root, which don't seem to be doing much yet, but I'm going to continue to water them. This is a weed. Um, but this guy looks to me like it's pot. I don't know what this is. It has the reddish colored... Um, stem like the strawberries and because it's a different variety this very well could be a strawberry so i'm letting it go it might have rooted this way so i'm gonna let it go for now it doesn't seem to be doing any damage to anything because there's nothing going on in this bed we'll see what happens if it's a weed i'll pull it if it's strawberry i'll leave it um but we have time to figure that out because i don't expect to get anything from these until spring um this is just a pot of flowers um, and i think that's about it we're relieving it now so we have a lot growing and the garden's getting really full and as you can see there's a lot of uh the, the uh sorry it's getting hot and i'm getting tired the um the beans and different things are starting to grow up like they're supposed to it's taking them a little time but they're starting to do it and once they do it starts to fill out very quickly so hopefully our arch will be covered here pretty soon, at least on this side. Um, I don't think this side is. I made the mistake of planting um, our zucchini over here, and they're not the same kind of climbers. So I know I won't have this part up here, you know, covered. I was thinking about maybe planting a couple of beans for fall in there, so I still might do that in between. Um because there's a lot of ground space down here that's empty because I have these growing up. So if I grow them up this way, I might still be able to get some beans on here. Oh, and then this little patch over here that's bare, I forgot to mention, this little patch, there's some flowers growing up, but um, I'll be using this fence line here for um, peas. We're doing some peas. Boy, the weeds grow fast. This is crazy. Oh, I guess. Oh, that's the one I threw from the other side. Um, this is the other piece of that water tank I was telling you about. So that's the one I'm going to fill and be putting other stuff in. I just need to clean it out. So that's our project for this weekend. And that's the garden for right now. It's the growth in about the last two weeks. And I'm pretty pleased. I'm really loving how shaded it's starting to get and how lush and full and starting to get to eat some things from the garden and that's really nice um i wasn't sure <laughs> if it was ever going to happen being that this is our first year and we started so late but it is we're just getting a later harvest and i'm okay with that anyway thanks for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day take care Bye bye